WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 68. NASDAQ up 50, S&P's up 12. They ran it, folks. If we go over to, uh, let's go to the Dow first, because that was pretty impressive. Uh, they, the Dow, as well as the S&P and the NASDAQ, bottom line, tested the lows of Friday, rejected them, and took off. The Dow Industrials actually were, were underneath that. The Dow got down to 28418 and we closed out at 28703 Bottom line, that high that was generated out here last Friday's game, once again, just the 28,872. S&Ps, this is, uh, this is no doubt impressive, uh, just even coming into the close. Uh, we closed out up 12 bucks. The high in the S&P out here is uh, 32.64. Uh, We're at 32.47. It's not going to be much uh, in order to uh, get up into that level. And the NQs which did blow away its highs that past Friday with price and volume. They're right next to it. The NQs, we closed out at 88.66 and uh, 89.07, which is nothing for the NQs. That is the high. I expect that that high is going to be, uh, it looks like to me that the high is going to be tagged tomorrow. Big numbers uh, right across the board. Notes and bonds, bottom line, they also continue to want higher price, lower yield. What we did out here, you got to a higher price. They didn't hold price out here, but guess what? You get the volume behind the move once again. 10-year was down three ticks, trading 129.09. Um, we had already re retested the, the swing lows, did it with lighter volume, took off last Thursday uh, and Friday, had volume behind the move. That 10-year wants to get back up into the 132 area, you're at 129. The 10-year right now is yielding 1.8. So a decent number. Gold, gold, vo hold on for volatility inside the gold market, folks. Uh, what you're going to see out here, I expect, is highly volatile year. I think we're going to break the highs, the all-time highs of the 1900 and change uh, inside the gold market. That being said, guess what? Uh, the gold hasn't traded like this, uh, meaning on a geopolitical place basis, uh, gapping up $20, $30, uh, $40. We're going to see that. And something to keep in mind, the gold market, it goes both ways, folks, in the gold market. So I finished up 15 bucks, 15.68. The high of today was 15.90. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning, every trading day. In fact, 9 o'clock in the morning, Larry Pesavento kicks us off. Awesome show. Have a great one, though.